Welcome everyone and thanks for joining us in JetPatch August Patch Tuesday Overview. As every month, we are going to discuss the latest Patch Tuesday release from Microsoft, along with some important vulnerabilities from different vendors, such as Reddit, Susan, and many more. My name is Ol Smolnik, and I'm product manager here in JetPatch. I've also invited my colleague Gilly to discuss about some of JetPatch features and how can they help you with the remediation. Hey, Gilly, how are you? Hey, Or, thank you for having me here. I'm great. I'm very excited to discuss uh, this Patch Tuesday uh, latest vulnerabilities and see how JetPatch can assist remediate them. Thank you, Gilly. So let's continue and see what we are going to do today. We will start with highlights of August Patch Tuesday. We will review three of the notable vulnerabilities that got released as part of uh, Microsoft Patch Tuesday. And we will finish with two of JetPatch features that are very interesting to, to see. In this patch Tuesday, we can see 44 unique CVEs. Seven of them are critical with an average score of 8.38. And there are also 37 that in important severity, which are in 7.1 average score. One of the vulnerabilities addressed in patch Tuesday is in use for active attack, while two others are publicly known. The affected products uh, are the known list of Windows desktops and Windows servers, including the Office suite. Uh, the interesting things here are the remote desktop client and the Windows TCP IP uh, that we will talk later, and also uh, the Windows print spoiler component that related to the print nightmare uh, that introduced a few months ago. We can see that most of the updates are related to elevation of privileges, while others also related to remote code execution. The first vulnerability that we will review is the only vulnerability in this patch Tuesday that is in use for a known attack. It is related to the Windows Update Medic Service Elevation of Privilege vulnerability, which is a service introduced in Windows 10 and related to the Windows Update Health to make sure there won't be any failures in the Windows Update service. It is rated only in important severity and 7.8 score. And the attack vector of this vulnerability is local. So it means that only attacker that is already got an access to the machine will be able to exploit this vulnerability. The second vulnerability is related to the TCP IP stack protocol and it is very critical severity in 9.9 .9 score. It is most relevant for Hyper-V infrastructure, but likely to be exploited on non-related Hyper-V. So it is very important to prioritize it over the others. Uh, an attacker can send a specially crafted TCP IP packet to a vulnerable Hyper-V host. Last but not least, we have a vulnerability that related to the print spooler uh, and relevant also to the print nightmare that we introduced a, a few months ago. It is publicly known. Uh, and last month, Microsoft released a patch for a non-critical elevation of privilege vulnerability related to the print spooler, but a week after it was updated with higher severity and some exploits were published on GitHub. This is uh, a critical uh, vulnerability with 8.8 score. Uh, and just for us to understand, uh, a print spooler is a Windows service that enabled by default in all Windows client and servers. It means that it is very important to patch your environment uh, with this patch Tuesday. And also, uh, uh, other than the last two updates, this, this vulnerability is related to all of the Windows servers and desktops and not only to a certain infrastructure or a specific Windows version. So now that we review the important vulnerabilities addressed in Patch Tuesday, we can continue and see uh, two interesting uh, features related to the JetPatch product. Yes, so let's start. The first one is the JetPatch Insights, which basically provides you the ability to take a step back and get an overview of your environment using reports that were generated based on our advanced data analytics capabilities. In JetPatch Insights, we actually have two main sections. The first one is what you're currently seeing. It's the Insights Overview, uh, and it's a dashboard that lists all the insights. Each insight in the table has a critical indication. This is the red sign that you're seeing, and it redirects to the insight details in a report with a quick how to improve action. Now you are seeing the report view, which provides a detailed explanation 
of the report insights that consist the, um, the graph and easy, um, easy to understand and, and, and fix how to improve. And uh, the, the insight title, which shows that for this kind of report, we have 98 missing security patches and we can easily fix them, creating a plan with all the relevant security patches. We also have, other than this uh, kind of uh, report, we came up with actually six different reports. Uh, each of them provides a different point of view on the environment. So uh, we have the patches compliance, the endpoint compliance, the patches that are aggregated by groups and endpoints by groups. Each of them has a how to fix, how to improve capabilities that will help you in a simple click remediate uh, issues and patches that are currently in your environment. Right, Gilly, we have something like 20 insights and we are going to release uh, a few more uh, in the next version. And actually every release of Jetpatch, we will improve this Jetpatch insight to provide more and more useful information to our customers. Correct. This is part of our uh, data-driven uh, philosophy uh, and process mining uh, approach that, uh, and that's the reason we, we came up with this feature. Okay, let's Correct. go to, to the next feature. This is a really, really great uh, feature. It actually allows you to add uh, another layer of security um, and correlate between vulnerabilities and patches in your environment. We came up with this integration because we saw that the different teams in a company are not speaking the same language. Um, the security team is actually using the vulnerability scanners, but the operational team is uh, using some products to only patch. And there's no integration between those two. And we wanted basically to minimize the gap and to enable uh, maximum correlation and automation to the process. Uh, with the integration that we're providing, uh, it's very, very easy to remediate, and we'll see that in the upcoming slide. And Gilly, is it really needed to have this integration for Jetpatch to work? So this is a really, really great point. Um, not at all. You don't need to uh, upload any scan or integrate with a vulnerability scanner in order to patch. Jetpatch, of course, provides the ability to patch without a vulnerability scanner. But if you're looking to actually add a layer and, and do the correlation between the two, it's possible. OK, so what we see here is a glimpse of our product. This is the endpoints management. And uh, we have here all the endpoints in the environment. And there is a specific column to show the integration with the different vulnerability scanners. It's to your right. And we see here the different integration, whether it's with Nessus or Nexpos, or if you're just looking to import a CSV with, with the vulnerabilities that you've detected. What we can see is that Jetpatch correlates the vulnerabilities with patches that are actually needed uh, to be installed on the endpoint. And the easiest way to remediate it is by actually clicking on select action use the integration type that you're currently, uh, you currently uploaded and used. And by clicking on that, we will automatically create a plan with all the relevant uh, endpoints and all the relevant patches that are needed to remediate those vulnerabilities. This is very useful for uh, uh, creating a remediation plan directly from the understanding of what is needed by the vulnerability scanner. Correct. And that way, you can actually generate reports, um, send them back to the security team, and show them that all the vulnerabilities that were detected were remediated uh, with the different patches uh, that were needed on the machines. Thank you, Gilly. And uh, that's all for now. If you are looking for more information or interested in the Jetpatch product, you can always reach us from our website. Thanks for having you with us and see you next month right after Microsoft September Patch Tuesday. Wishing you a successful patching cycle and take care. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.